Today we will learn Roman numerals a little more in detail. We have already learned about the Hindu Arabic system of numbers. Let us find out what is different in the Roman system of numerals. In the Hindu Arabic system, we have 10 different symbols for numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Whereas the Roman system has only 7 different symbols I, V, X, L, C, D, M. We can see that all these symbols are capital letters. In both the systems, one or more symbols placed together form a number. For example, in the Hindu Arabic system, when we place one, eight, nine together, we get the number 189. In the Roman system of numerals, I and V placed together gives the number 4. Finally, in the Hindu Arabic system, each symbol has a place value. For example, look at the number 189. When we split this number, we get 100 plus 80 plus 9. That is 100 8 tens 9 ones. The Roman numerals do not follow the place value system and each symbol has a definite value given to it. I has a value of 1. V has a value of 5 and so on till M has a value of 1000. Remember, there is no symbol for 0 in this system. We need to remember three rules while writing the Roman numerals. 1. Rule of repetition. 2. Rule of addition. 3. Rule of subtraction. Let us learn each rule one by one. Rule 1. Rule of repetition. 1. When a symbol is repeated twice or thrice, its value is multiplied by 2 or 3 respectively. For example, M is equal to 1000. M M is equal to 1000 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2000. M M M is equal to 1000 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3000. 2. Symbol I, X, C and M can be repeated three times at maximum. For example, we can write 1 as I, 2 as I, I and 3 as I, I, I in Roman system. But we cannot write 4 as I, 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 I. 3. The symbols V, L and D are never repeated. That is, symbols for 5, 50 and 500 cannot be repeated. This means that we do not write the number 10 by repeating V but as X. Now 
Let us look at the second rule. Rule 2. Rule of addition. If a symbol of smaller value is written to the right of a symbol of higher value, we add the smaller value to the greater value. Let us consider xi. x has a value of 10. i has a value of 1. So, the Hindu Arabic number for this Roman number is 11. Finally, we have the third rule. Rule 3. Rule of subtraction. 1. If a symbol of smaller value is to the left of a symbol of higher value, we subtract the smaller value from the higher value. For example, let us take the number xc. x has a value of 10 and c has a value of 100. So, xc will be 100 minus 10 is equal to 90. 2. The symbols v, l and d cannot be subtracted from any number. For example, 95 cannot be written as 100 minus 5 is equal to v, c. 95 should be written as 90 plus 5 is equal to x, c, v. 3. I, X and C are used to subtract. There are just six combinations. IV is equal to 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. IX is equal to 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. X, L is equal to 50 minus 10 is equal to 40. X, C is equal to 100 minus 10 is equal to 90. C, D is equal to 500 minus 100 is equal to 400. C M is equal to 1000 minus 100 is equal to 900. It is very easy to write the Roman numerals if we remember the three rules. Don't you agree? <laughs>